Yeah, I'll walk through the whole recording. So I'm recording now on like how you're gonna code to be able to 3D print for different layers and changing the colors. So um, the first thing it will do obviously is uh, have Cura. And then uh, you'll have Cura for um, your A31. And then you'll just load a model like you normally do. Uh, and then like for instance, let's see, I have this, this stag beetle here. We'll load this stag beetle. Um, and this guy, it's way too big. So uh, we'll click on them and then uh, click scale and you can actually say to max and then shrink them back down to be the actual size that we want. And then let's say we wanted to have like, maybe like the shell car piece, a little, uh, a, a different color. So what we can do is we'll wait for the thing to slice first. So it's all the way done. And then we're gonna go ahead and click view mode and then go to layers. And then layers is how you can see what each individual layer is going to do. And I can click this to get that to go away. Um, and then for what each individual layer is going to do, you can move this down here. And then in the new version of Curry, this is really awesome too. So let's say we're going to move it down. And I don't want it to be the, uh, the pinchers. Maybe the layer like right before the pinchers. Um, get, get that exit. Still trying to visualize it here. Exactly where we want it to be. Almost down, maybe, because this is the tricky part. It's trying to figure out exactly what layer you want to switch. So, so that's part of that one. So I don't want to do that. So maybe the first one up looks like it'll be that one. So that's layer 203. So we see that this is layer 203. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop. And I can name it whatever I want. And I'll just put it on the desktop for now because it's the easiest to find. Um, now let's just save it wherever you want. And then when you save it, we're gonna open this in any text edit program. So whatever your favorite one is that you uh, can do your coding in, you can open this in. So I'm gonna just click other, and I'm just gonna do the basic like text edit um, software. We're just gonna like pop up here and be like, what do you wanna open it with? Uh, so we'll go ahead and go to, there it is, text edit. Open that up. And then here is the G code. So this is everything that the printer is being told to do step by step by step. Um, and it has these little uh, semicolons for all the, the commands that it's not reading. It's just telling you exactly what it is and what it's going through. And you see this right here where it says layer zero, that's how we're gonna find the layer that we need. So we can just copy this and then you can just control F and then type in layer zero, but instead of layer zero, we want layer 203 to find it. And there it is. So there's layer 203. And then we'll just hit uh, return to go underneath that. And then we're going to put an M600 command. And that is the change filament command um, for the printer. And that's just what it's going to do is it's going to stop and then it's going to move to the side and beat and then unload the filament, just like it does when you hit change filament on the printer. Um, that is the command to do it. Um, and then once we put that in there, then you're just going to save it. And then now that's saved in our G code. And then we'll put this on our SD card and then put this in our printer. And then the printer is just going to print. And then when it gets to that point, then it will stop and move to the side and then back it up and then beep at you until you change the filament out. And then you tap the button again to resume it after you get the filament all fed through there. So that's the whole process of like working through um, to be able to code um, a filament change in the printer. And there are tons of commands that you can do in G-Code. Um, if you just Google like G-Code rep wrap, there's tons of awesome stuff you can do. People have done everything from like playing songs like Jingle Bells to like the Imperial March, um, all the way to doing um, like all kinds of weird commands where you can speed up and slow down what it's doing at different parts of the print. Um, you can even change the layer height to be different parts at different types. So if you wanted to be 0.1 on top and like 0.3 on the bottom, you could change those different types of things. Um, so there's tons of really cool stuff you can do with the G-Code.